passed on among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. The last verse. Acts chapter number. of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us for in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of your own poets have said for we are also his offspring so I want to read this one in another version I want to read in another version the Bible says From one man, he created all the nations throughout the whole earth. He decided beforehand which should rise and fall, and he determined their boundaries. I'm still not getting what I want. Yes, I want this one. NIV. From one man, he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth, and he determined the times set for them and the exact places where they should. It has not even begun. But they have put for you the what do you call it? The signpost or sometimes they use banner. And they say it's coming up soon. And then in the space of a year you realize that a very serious building with the same even paint rises up. So the one who is behind this building have every details of what is to become of that building. It can be a, a, 
a gorofa of how, how many floors? 10, 20, 30, even 40. <laughs> but they, they write on, on the paper every details of that building before they raise it up. And when the, the engineer looks at it, the civil engineer, when he just looks at it, uh, he knows how to go about it until the building is completed. Now, if ordinary human beings like us can put up a structure of 20 floor, 30 or even more, and they first of all write it on a paper, and you who don't understand what is happening, he can even show you this is what is going to happen, this is how we're going to do it. And they think it's going very high in the sky. And they give you every detail of it, even before they begin. So the question is, what about God that gave man that ability? In other words, God has put in a man the same ability that was in him to look into the future and to stretch a plan that can go for millions, sorry, for thousands of years. Nothing is an accident on earth. Now, after he has finished, just like an engineer does that, anybody want to do a serious building? You engage. There are plans for building, and there are so many things. And even these days, they even sell it on the roads. And they tell you the three bedroom, or five bedroom. You look at the plan, then you, you just buy that small book. Yeah, you, you can read and see how the house is, whether it is one story building or more. If, I mean, if that is what human beings are doing, and they can think, what about God? God planned before he created the heavens and the earth. Even the destinies of humans after the earth comes to an end. Because the time comes when heaven and earth, the Bible says it will be rolled like paper and they, it will be th thrown. Because by then now, a new heaven, that now you get that from chapter 21 of the book of Revelation, the new earth together with the lake of fire will be brought so the destinies of people is no longer in hell or heaven because hell and heaven is a place of waiting when Jesus comes back after 1000 years of his reign together with us here the Bible talks about how the earth and the heavens will be thrown away And then there are the number of years that cannot be numbered. That's why the word eternity or forever has been fixed. Eternity. And you're not going to have like 2023, 2020. There's no, there's no time in heaven. And even after this. So from the beginning of the creation of the earth and heaven, until eternity, how this earth is going to come to an end, God has planned everything. Now you are just arriving in the middle of the plans. There are people who preceded you before you came. Thousands of years. Some of us might leave early this world or stay here. At some point we leave. And there are people, our kids will come and talk over. And still, even as you are leaving this earth, and your kids are coming in, the God you are worshipping is the same. The same God. Who planned your life before even you thought he is there. And you will come and still reign in the lives of people who are younger than us or our, our grandchildren. For that matter, but uh, that may not happen in our time of the rapture that is about to happen. 
So what I'm trying to say is this. Nothing is accident on earth. Nothing. As we begin Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, when you read chapter 3, you realize Adam fell. He didn't follow the instruction that God gave him. Do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The day you eat, you will surely die. Now Adam ate. So the next thing is, what, what next then? Immediately in chapter 3 verse 15, God tells uh, the serpent, he introduces Jesus at that moment. God is not in a fix when that happened. He tells him in chapter 3 verse 15, and I will put an enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise the head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The seed of the woman is Jesus. Immediately, Adam falls into sin together with his wife. God is bringing up her. Now, this is not a management of crisis. How can I put it? God is now feeling like kama umeleta mtu akumanejie biashara na unakuta ame misbehave na sasa inabidi utafute mwingine haraka. <laughs> There's a crisis somewhere. Can I put Now this thing this didn't find God by surprise. The planning the plans of having Jesus to come after Adam sinned it didn't come to God as a surprise. Otherwise, you're going to have a very unique God. A very uh, a surprising God. First Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19. I want to read something there so that you see. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your, your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as a lamp without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last days for us. So Jesus, God planned that. He knew what is in a man. He knew a man will fail. He planned Jesus even before the foundation of the universe was laid to come and die for us. Jesus to die. He chose, he chose them from the Garden of Eden. Next. The person who came up is uh, Enoch. Noah. Noah did something small in his time. After the flood, he failed also. Abraham came up. After Abraham, now, until our time, until Jesus came, God had a plan. And this plan is passing from one generation to, to another. In chapter number 145 of the book of Psalms, David says, One generation will declare to another generation your great works. This one generation will declare to another generation your great works. After they left Egypt, 2.5 million people or above left Egypt. But the only people who went to Canaan from the 2.5 are only two. All others were born in the wilderness. Now how does it look like? 2.5 million plus people leaving Egypt, only two entering Canaan. It seems like God's plan are always failing. It has not. God always has people who will proceed with the plans that he has. Until where we are standing today, because many a times people fail to recognize God and his plan for their generation. 
and many people, 90% plus, always miss the plans and the agenda of God in their generation. But God will always have somebody who will take this work to the next level. What I'm saying is, as I finish, you who is seated here, you're not an accident. You are work of God in progress from previous generation. To your generation and then you might be the mediator between your generation and the next generation passing on the things that God has called us to do. So what I'm saying is uh, that this is just introduction will progress into this. God had a lot in mind. I'm saying God had a lot in mind before you arrived on earth. I mean God had a lot in mind before you came and the plans that he has for you and for your generation is big enough I mean big you have also to pass it to your next generation he becomes God from generation to generation so the big question that you need to ask is where should I fit in God's plan for my life in this time and in the geographical environment where I have been placed amen that is enough for this morning. I want us to pray in the next 20 minutes. In the next 20 minutes, I want us to pray. Wow. We are praying that we get to know the plan of God for our lives and how to fit in His plan. in this time so I want us to stand up and pray I want us to stand up and pray in the name of Jesus yeah we are praying we are praying we are asking God to enable us understand his plans his ways just 15 minutes if you're joining us live please just join us in this prayer God did not just create you without a purpose there's a specific plan you want to accomplish the plan that began before we came and the plan that will continue after we leave is a God who moves from generation to generation maso kalabade Father, we honor your name at such a moment as this, at such a time as this. Le katosa ka para badea, maribo sento la prasha talaba, kribo sirivikle. You have revealed yourself to us. The Bible says, before the foundation of the universe, you knew us in Christ. Li boga soka talaba. Makade go sent all the pressure to all about the most city be glad. Rokanama de go see the prakata labada in the name of Jesus. We decide, we have decided, Lord Jesus, to seek your face. Mate kasola bada mashala bade. Mikrobo city be glad. We are not an accident on earth. Ropo kosoto labada mashala bade. Mikrobo city be glad. Makata satalaba, the most city be gladia. Roga de moshele pro city be gladia. Kone mo sin tula pro city be gladia. Masheke te kribo city be glabadea. Ratana madimo city be gladia. 
Shakata pasola pri clare bo sento la prosere be gloria. Rokana madiko si clava dea. Makote masile prashata la badi mo sere be gloria. In the name of Jesus. Mebe de mo sento la prosere be clava dea. Rata kama da glory prashata la prosere be gloria. Father, we are here. Open our eyes, dear Lord. Cause us know why we are existing. We are not an accident. Liba do sacredia la catela prodia. Marco di mosili prosciata la bade. Mi cremo sento la para bade gladia. Repa cota masola para baglere boschele prosede be gladia. In the precious name of Jesus. Link to di bosere be gladia. Ro camadoga shala badi mosele be glabra sata la bade. Leme de mosento la prosede be gladia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are here, Lord. We want to be people who have made meaning to their generation. We want to live a purposeful life. Mentone mo sintu la prosila procledia. Hallelujah. Ratara ba shakata pasata la badea. Mantene mo di mo sikate la prosili big loader. In the name of Jesus. Kena madosa kalabada. Mantema di mo sikate.